The Supreme Court's decision on DACA and DAPA is also a loss for many families here in the Rio Grande Valley. CBS 4's Annalise Ortiz talked to one family about where they plan to go from here. Annalise. Eddie DAPA would have allowed the parents of some American children to stay in the United States, even apply for work permits. One Mercedes family was looking forward to having that freedom, but now they say they're just holding on to faith. Many families enjoy summer vacations far away from their hometowns. The Aldape family from Mercedes, Texas, can only dream of such a trip. We've always wanted to go to Six Flags, just like at least, you know, and we can't do that as a family. Ayara is a dreamer, an original recipient of the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA program. Her five siblings are U.S. citizens. They can travel past this Border Patrol checkpoint north of the Rio Grande Valley. Their parents cannot because of their legal status. If you pass a checkpoint, you can pretty much go anywhere in the United States. But here, like, we're, we're just stuck here. When President Obama first announced his plan for deferred action for parents of Americans or DAPA, these little ones thought their dream of traveling to an amusement park would come true. Since that point, the family's been on an emotional roller coaster. When Obama announced DAPA, we were very happy. But when the states tried to stop it, we started getting sad. We started to become hopeful again, knowing that it was going to go to the Supreme Court. But Thursday, the Aldape family and four million other immigrant families learned that the Supreme Court deadlocked on a decision which would allow President Obama's programs to move forward. That means a lower court ruling which blocks the Obama administration from protecting some undocumented immigrants from deportation will stay in place. We know that battles are not won on the first try. They take time. And so they will continue fighting for freedom. We have hope, we have faith, and like our old leader said, Originally were granted immigration relief thanks to DACA back in 2012. This means that for the Aldape family, their oldest daughter will be able to continue her studies at a university. Live from the Farm McAllen Newsroom, Annalise Ortiz, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.